So this game here is Pack Rat. The Pack Rat from 1992 from Steve Blanding. And um, I decided to speedrun it. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to do a voiceover over the gameplay. So you're not going to see my mouth moving. But I did it to put my uh, webcam on because I wanted to make sure that everyone knows that I didn't cheat. Even though I don't think anyone cares about this game. Anyway, I was watching Pixel Amusement the other day. And he was doing his uh, Ancient DOS games. Uh, what did he not Ancient DOS games, but he does Ancient DOS games, but he also does Shovelware Diggers. And there's a 2000 Hits game CD, and this is one of the games on that CD. And so what I decided to do is, is since I played this game such so much as a kid, that I never beat it. I got never got past the third level. And so I was going to speedrun it, because then, you know, then I can learn how to beat it. And I did. And I found out some very interesting things. So first of all, this game is an action platformer. And you're just supposed to go around and collect everything. Now, that's part of the reason why I can never beat it. Because I try to get every single thing I could find. And when you do that, it's almost impossible. Because there's put things put in places that you're going to die if you get them. Or there's things that are kind of red herrings and you go after them and you die. So, instead of doing that, um, by taking the speedrun approach, you just run past everything and don't collect everything. So you think, oh, well, you wouldn't get a very good score. But the thing is, this game actually loops. So when you finish the game, it starts back over at the beginning. So when you start back over at the beginning, you can just play the game over and over and over again and pretty much rack up as high of a score as you want. So that's something that you can do. I didn't know that. I didn't know the game looped. Also, every 10,000 points, you get a free guy. So you can get <clears> as many free lives as you want. So... I played this game many, 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 many times for about two hours um, the other day, and then I couldn't beat it, and finally I beat it, and then I played another two hours, and and I died so many times. And at the end of this video, I'll have a death compilation. I'll show you all the times I've died. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here's just the gameplay. I'm running as fast as I can. Um, you can push things like these little... Um, spools of thread you push the spools of thread and you can use them as platforms to jump on it's kind of a cool mechanic um, but you have to be careful because otherwise you fall um, if you don't push the right thing you can get stuck so um, these little evil rats are hard to avoid they're the only really enemy in the game but uh, there's a lot of pitfalls and things you can fall and die you know this game is brutal it is absolutely brutal it's very difficult but you have to time everything, and you know, it's 15 frames per second, it's not that great. But I found a few things that were kind of interesting. You can push this and then get up here. But it took me forever to figure out how to do that. I played that level 10 times before I figured out how to beat it. But then once you learn how to do it, it's super easy. So I know speed speedrunning is kind of controversial because some people say, oh, that's not how you're supposed to play the game. You're supposed to collect everything and spend hours playing it. And well, yeah, maybe, but I did spend hours playing it. I discovered everything I could know about this game. Or what I think I could know. I'm sure other people could beat my time. But, um... That's... And just enjoy it. Just enjoy the game. So, um... And after this speed runs over, then um, this is... Then I'll kind of explain some stuff uh, about the game a little bit more and show you a compilation of all my deaths. And this is about the end of... Where I actually finally beat the level. So... And then it's going to end soon. So hold on and I'll tell you how long it took. Yes, I got it. Yes. <laughs> and that's the game. So I'll go check back with to see how long that score was. But that's that was the game. So um, I played the, the game over and over again, looped through all the levels. And then this weird thing happened. I got 10 lives when I hit 60,000 instead of just one more life which was really strange but then i kept on playing and um this time i turned the sounds on because you know i wanted you to enjoy the sounds that's why i turned them off when i was playing because i couldn't stand them <laughs> anyway it took me 20 minutes to to get this far and um it was really interesting because i thought that's kind of weird maybe oh you hit sixty thousand points it's a big deal you get a bunch of extra lives but then um something really strange happened because i would keep on playing getting more and more points and just watch 
and you'll see what happens and you'll be like what that's weird so i think that the highest score you can get is sixty-five thousand, something like that because the game eventually freezes so i don't think steve glanding ever um tested this this far because you know once you play through the one, level once and it was so brutal the game was so brutal that you don't think anyone ever beat it but once you learn all the secrets it's not really that big of a deal it's actually quite easy to get pretty far if you're not speeding like if you if you're speed running it then it's very difficult because you end up rushing through things and not waiting for the electrical things and you get shocked and you die so but if you're taking your time then it's actually quite uh, simple as long as you're avoiding a lot of the, the pitfalls so about here 63,000 points and everything looks okay so let's just fast forward a little bit Now something happens when you actually um, beat a level, you get points. And see that how the score just the score jumped up, and then I got two hundred forty-five lives, which is crazy. It's like how could you ever use that many lives? But then you die, and then surely enough, it is two hundred forty-four lives. So watch this. Yep, two hundred forty-four lives. So it obviously is counting the lives properly there, but for some reason there's an error when you get sixty-five thousand points it just makes the lives go up crazy. So if you continue playing, it does some really weird and bizarre things. So I'm sure there's some kind of bug in here and no one actually ever tested it this far because, I mean, you'd have to be crazy to want to play this game um, over and over again. Well, see that? And it hit 362 lives and uh, 65,365 points and it just crashes. But obviously, there's a, a place for 100,000 points on the board, so why isn't that not thought out? I don't know. Anyways, interesting little tidbit there. I don't. Dang it. I actually have the patience. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Speedrun. An obscure DOS. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever, subscribe. Um, I really enjoyed making it. It was kind of fun to play a game I haven't played in a long time and actually beat it and kind of become the world champion speedrunner at the Pack Rat. So, um, see you next time.